Black Friday. It is America's biggest shopping day and the day that retailers make nearly 40% of their profits for the entire holiday season. I had never been out on a Black Friday, but this year I decided to venture out with my camera to see for myself if the stories about women fighting over discounted bath towels were true. While I didn't see any violence firsthand, what I did see was just a saddening. Masses of people still digesting their Thanksgiving meals standing in the cold to get a discount on a cheap laptop. <laughs> Traditionally retail stores have opened in the early morning hours on Black Friday, but now to stay competitive and to maximize their profit margins, many of them now open at midnight. Some competitive shoppers even camp out days in advance in anticipation of the killer deals on the Chinese-made products. This is my first year. First year. Um, I'm, a, I'm a virgin. Yeah. So explain to me how this works. I mean, so what, what's going to happen at midnight? Uh, they open the doors and is it a free for all or what? Uh, chaos. The ball. <laughs> we're going to bum rush. Yep, Stole yep. right. And get, get what we need. Yeah, get our maces right. out. That's right. <laughs> Pepper spray. And people are. I don't think anything. I don't think anything is worth a life someone else or, getting, or any injuries for that matter. But getting injured oh. for this. You want something bad enough, I guess. Yes, yep. Do what you can to get it, which is ridiculous, but. <laughs> I've seen some stuff on the, like news reports in the past, like people actually get get injured. Do you all expect to see anything like that? I expect to injure a few people. Yeah. We're gonna, we're gonna out, trip I people up and one, hurt them, bailing them out, yeah. and tell them we're going for first place. Yep. We're gonna be in front when we trip everybody up. Yeah. Right. I don't know. There's nothing in that store that I would stand in this line to save a little bit of money for. Yeah. So I don't know. I think it's nuts. So uh, let me ask you, what happens if you're the one that gets uh, trampled on or injured? Ain't I'm going to pray that they call the ambulance. I've seen in the past where people have actually gotten injured. You know, yeah. people get trampled. And oh, yeah, we had a fight over at the Walmart. That's why. Over a trampling. Kind of, I've, I've seen, you know, things like this before in the news where people get injured and people get trampled on. Do you expect to see anything like that? Yes. If they try to cut in line. <laughs> What are you all doing out here? <laughs> I'm here in the shop. Yeah, it's all about the video games right now. Four. Man, we're looking for uh, Warfare 3, FIFA 12, you know. Yeah, the new stuff. The Skyrim, new stuff. Skyrim, Battlefield 3, you know. You know the Xbox Connect. I'm going home and I'm dead. <laughs> hey, hey, if somebody falls down, make sure you pick them up and you know, be nice to people. I will, right? I will. All right. Yeah, will. People, maybe I think people are just spending, they're just spending money. And uh, actually, I think they're spending more money than they normally would. And all over some simple, all over some ridiculous little discount. But I mean, I really think the companies are just making more money, and there's really, I think it's just a, I mean, I personally think it's just kind of a scam. Yeah, bring them. <laughs> hey, what time did you get here today? Uh, we, we got here at 8 o'clock. Uh, was it worth it? Oh, yeah, it was worth it. Worth the wait. I have a six person tent. Uh -huh. uh, we're gonna spend the night in there. The people up there got here at six today. I called the police at least twice in some years. It's almost been like like fist fights because the people try to merge in line. If anybody from the back tries to cut in front of us, we're all gonna have everybody's backs over here. Is it worth it? Yeah, at the end, a $200 gadget that's normally 500, marked way down, yes. I come because all my friends do it and I just think it's so much fun. It's the experience. Big sales in a stampede. Shoppers pushed and shoved their way through Black Friday today. In Los Angeles, Walmart again. Some customers came under attack when a shopper used pepper spray. 34-year-old overnight box. store clerk was knocked to the right ground by that crush of people you described this after the overly eager crowd pushed through the doors right around 5 o'clock this morning. He was later pronounced dead around 6 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. This Black Friday became, as I mentioned and there, a black and blue one in many parts of this country. There is a bright side tonight. The National Retail Federation says so far, so good. Early estimates show shopping up this year. Black Friday bargaining trip has turned deadly. Early this morning, a local Walmart opened its doors at 5 a.m. to a crush of holiday shoppers. Witnesses say a man was trampled to death. And if you ever make it to 10, you won't make it again. And if you ever make it to 10, you won't make it again. Of the
dirt you're made in the dirt you will return so while we're living here let's get the little one thing clear there's plenty of men to die you don't jump your turn and it's fun to be on the outside of the world of the Make it to ten, you won't make it again. And if you ever make it to ten, you won't make it again. And if you ever make it to ten, you won't make it again.